is something so important, it's so valuable, it's such an important time. Your youth, the period of being youth, is the most important part of your life because the impressions, the things which you do at this point in your life, they will be with you throughout your life. And they're going to affect also your next life. So it's very special that as you, you have come to Krishna Consciousness. I joined the Krishna Consciousness Movement more than 50 years ago. I was like 21. And I, when I became a devotee, I thought, oh, I've come so late. If only I had joined earlier. That was my feeling. Other devotees, they were 18, 17, you know, and I was already 21. And I thought, oh, if only I had come earlier, you know. Anyway, that was more than 50 years ago. So, I'm fortunate that somehow I can still be here today. Because a lot of other devotees, a lot of other people, they've all moved on. But I think that initial contact with the Krishna Consciousness Movement was very important and had a very helpful effect to keep me in Krishna Consciousness even though there may be difficulties and problems, troubles come up in our life. You can't expect there won't be problems. There will be difficulties. There will be things which don't suit us, which we don't like. But we have to we have to just simply go on. We simply go through with these difficulties. And gradually you get, you know, just like Prabhupada gives an example, you're crossing the ocean in a ship, as Prabhupada did to go to America, and when you cross the ocean there's going to be some storms. There's going to be some big waves. You don't get off the ship. You stay on the ship. And gradually the ship passes through the storm and you come to the smoother, calmer part of the ocean. So Krishna consciousness is often like that. You know, I'm not saying it has to be like that, but it often can be. We can get difficulties. We can get troubles. We can get things which we don't like. And we'll be asking, why, why, like this, you know. And we will feel, we can feel really upset about things. But we have to go on, we have to understand. The important thing is that Krishna, or Lord Jagannath, is here. And that's what really matters. That we are chanting Hare Krishna, we are trying to serve Krishna, as best we can, and we're trying to also give the message of Krishna to others. We're not just only thinking of ourselves, but we're trying to give the message of Krishna. So we have to remember things in, in this kind of manner that we, we, have, we have to expect that there will be things, there will be troubles, but we have to tolerate them and go on and get to the real goal. For the real goal is that we're, we develop a love for Krishna. And at the end of life, just like myself, you know, I'm at the, almost at the you know, any time, Prabhupada said, once you get to 70, right, three score year and ten, Prabhupada would say three score year and one score means twenty years. So three score means sixty plus ten means seventy. So in the Christian Bible they speak about the average duration of life as something like three score year and ten. And Prabhupada would say three score years and ten, it is already past. So it means that any time you can leave the body, you can die at any time. It can happen. You have to be ready for that. So Prabhupada was he was pointing out, he was telling us these things. 
I was just 20, 25 when Prabhupada was seeing these things, so it didn't mean much to me then. But now, as I think about what Prabhupada told us then, it has a lot of meaning to me now. Because in my old, my body's old age, I understand any time we have to leave the body. We don't know where we're going to, but knowing you have to leave the body, what do you want to do? Where would you like to be? I know George Harrison, the famous musician who donated Bhaktivedanta to Manor, he said, he said, I want to be with the devotees. He said, I, I want to be with those people. I'd rather be with the, with the devotees than with those people who are not devotees. He was very clear like that. And before he departed from the world, he did things like he went to Bombay, you know, Giri Raj was narrating how he came there in Juhu, and he sat with Prabhupada for a few hours there in Juhu, talking to Prabhupada. And then he also went to Vrindavan, and he saw Vrindavan, and he saw Prabhupada's room, and the temple, and everything. And then in the manor, back to the to manor in London, we had a big dispute because they wanted to close down our temple and we had to fight. It was a big thing, big, very big. And the, the whole country was aware of what was going on. And when we finally won, then George Harrison came there and he celebrated with all the devotees. And so, you know, he was really a devotee. He was really a Prabhupada man. He, he did so much for Prabhupada. And he did a lot for the Krishna consciousness movement. And so he left the body, but he did he did some he was happy that he could do something for the service of Krishna. What we want to use our life to do something for Krishna. What have you done with your life? And so we have to think like that. You know, we want to do something useful. People would sometimes say to me, you know, I used to, when I joined the Krishna Consciousness Movement, we had a daily program, we go on Hari Nam. And if you've been to London, you know our temple in London is in the city, and it's just beside Oxford Street. So Oxford Street is one of the major streets in London, and every day we go on Sankirtan, time, up and down the street, chanting Hare Krishna, and distributing back to Godhead magazine. It was practically the only book we had in those days. You know, there were, there were no books. But we had some back to God heads printed in Japan. And we had volume one Krishna book. And so, people would come to me and they'd say, Why don't you do something useful with your life? And I would look at them and say, Do you think you're doing something useful with your life? What are you doing with your life? You know, they would just look at me in disgust and go away, you know. But uh, somebody asked me recently, I was, I was in India and I was visiting temples in Delhi and one of the devotees asked me, they said, what were you doing before you became a devotee? And I told them frankly, I said, I was wasting my life in sense gravity. Like most of people today who are not Krishna conscious, they simply waste their life in materialistic activities to satisfy the senses. So I thought coming to Krishna consciousness, it's given me, it's engaged me in activities which are very important, which mean a lot to me. I like very much to be with the devotees and I can think it's not easy for me to go away from the devotees. I like to be with the devotees and it's especially nice to be with all of the youth. To be here today and see all of the youth and how you're taking active interest in Krishna consciousness. We need the youth. 
because our days are numbered. We don't know how long we can be here. We need you people to come forward and to take up the responsibility. I was doing a book fair one time in Singapore. We were displaying our books and it happened there was a, a Christian group in the next book. And the, and the Christian group, they put up a big sign saying, we need volunteers. And they thought, oh my goodness, this is what we should be doing. You know, we also need volunteers. It's so important to get people to come forward, to want to do service. And so, it's so nice to see all of you here today. And I can understand you also have that mood. You're also volunteers. And you like to be part of Lord Chaitanya's army and help us to distribute the Sankirtan movement, particularly here in this great city of Kuala Lumpur. I say great city because this city is blessed by the dust of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada came here 50 years ago, I think, with 1971, so 51 years. Right? 51 and last year with COVID, we couldn't do too much of a celebration. But we're remembering 1971, Prophet came here in Kuala Lumpur and he wanted a temple here. He wanted that we would be preaching in Malaysia. Prophet traveled here. He went to Philippines, he went to Ipo, he went to Penang, and especially he was here in Kuala Lumpur. And he wanted a nice temple to be here. So we're very grateful to all of the devotees that you're all helping to develop this wonderful temple and to make Krishna consciousness an active force here in Malaysia. We're not just a minority. We want to be a very positive alternative to the society, to give them something which is a very big contribution to the community. We do need spiritual counseling, spiritual guidance. Krishna consciousness has a lot to give people. As Prabhupada said, Prabhupada went to America, he didn't go to bed, he went to give. And in the same way, Krishna Consciousness has come here to Malaysia to give. Our movement is a giving movement. In the early days, we used to distribute books and we would solicit donations. We don't do that so much nowadays. The movement is more established. But still, we do have to give Krishna Consciousness. We, we need to go out there. You see, people are suffering so much. You have to take it. Every, everywhere you go, there's people suffering. So even here, we have to be willing to give shelter to reach out to people and try to help them and give them a better life. And certainly Srila Prabhupada considered it like that. He said before he departed, he said, if I have done anything, I have given a better life to so many people. Do you agree? I hope so. I hope you agree. I certainly feel that Prabhupada gave me a much better life than I could ever expect in the material world. Where would I be today if I was not a devotee? You know, I had studied at university and I had a degree from a good university. I'm sure they have a, our branches here in Kuala Lumpur now, Harry Watt. And so I studied there, I graduated there in engineering, and I was working, I had a job in the industry. But I gave it up 
to chant Hare Krishna. And people would say, you must be mad. But I would say, I think you're mad. I think you're mad because your life is just working like an ass. At any moment, you may be driven out from the body where you will go in the future, you don't know. But I'm chanting Hare Krishna, I'm happy, I'm convinced that my life is, has some purpose. I know where I'm going, what I'm doing. So I, I, I spoke to them like that. I, I, this is my word and there is a simple today. I have no regrets. Tamal Krishna Goswami, I was with him for about 20 years, serving him. So he told me one time, he asked Prabhupada, he said, Srila Prabhupada, if you, had a, if you had the opportunity to spread Krishna consciousness differently from the way you did it, would you change anything? Prabhupada said, no. I would do it exactly the same way. I would do it exactly as I did it. And how did he do it? He went with no money, not, not knowing anybody, just simply depending on Krishna. So Prabhupada thought that to depend on Krishna, to take Krishna consciousness, and Krishna will help, Krishna will reciprocate. And we can see, we have a nice temple here in Kuala Lumpur. We have many branches, many centers throughout the country. We have congregation, we have devotees, we have a farm project, we have cow protection. Of course, there's many more things we could do. We need your help. We need you to come forward and take responsibility. We, our days are numbered. Now it's your turn to come forward and take up the, 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 the responsibilities. And do, I'm sure you can do much better when Krishna consciousness has to grow. It's a spiritual movement, it's dynamic. It, will, it has to expand. It has to go forward. We cannot just simply maintain. We don't want to just simply maintain. We have to think how to go forward, how to develop, how to do more. So it takes all of you to come forward and take up some responsibilities and help us to see this movement flourish more and more. Okay, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Maharaj, for the ever inspiring and wonderful address. As you all know, Maharaj is no stranger here. He has always been here. He always has encouraged all of us in this yatra. And we are very, very grateful that he is actually here present with us all today. Aren't you feeling very lucky about that? Thank you very much. Now I'd like to humbly invite his Grace Ajamila Das Prabhu to share a few words with us. Prabhu is also no stranger, as you all know, he's uh, uh, one of the senior uh, Srila Prabhupada disciple. He's based here in Malaysia, he travels to Mayapur from here. It's, uh, he's got two hosts, uh, maybe six months in KL and six months in Mayapur, I think. Prabhu, please. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Jai Prabhupada ki jai. Namaste,
uh, whereas the, uh, the rating is on the wall when someone gets past 70, um, you can feel the presence of Jara. There's Jama, Mrityu, and Jara means old age, and then there's death. So before death, um, the body starts um, malfunctioning in different ways. So Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, this is a very important instruction for the youth. Uh, that I'm just going to mention one point that uh, Krishna mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Dehi dehi nushti jata dehi kumbhavan kumbhavanam jala ta deham jala prati dhiras matra nuiti. This verse is very, very important for the youth. Why? Because um, Krishna talks about in this verse in the Bhagavad Gita going from boyhood to youth. Now, as youth, you've just come out of the boyhood stage, or, or, or is it, how do you say that for female? The boyhood? How do you say the femalehood? The girlhood. The girlhood stage, yeah. Fem uh, boyhood and girlhood. So, girls and boys are just coming out of that uh, uh, boy stage, boy and girl stage, and coming into the youth stage. Now, Srimad Bhagavatam explains that this is the biggest change of their life. The old age is nothing compared to the change that uh, boys and girls go through when they go from boys and girls to youth. It is described in the Bhagavatam that this change is the consciousness of the living entity like a whirlwind. The material desires come to the living entity like a whirlwind. Uh, recently uh, we had a nice class with the youth and I brought up this point. Uh, we're going to make a, a nice video on this and show some whirlwinds. Uh, and how the whirlwind uh, can bewilder the, the living entity. The Christian says in the Bhagavad Gita, the, the self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. This is a very important point to understand. Dhiras, Tatra, and Muliyati. Don't be bewildered by, by, by such a change. Uh, when you change from uh, a, 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 a youth body uh, to a, you know, sort of from a boy or a girl body to a youth body, that's a big change, the biggest change. And uh, so Krishna says, don't be bewildered. Now, every day we're changing our clothes, right? We take off the old clothes, so we put on, in the morning we put on fresh, you close it. It's not such a bewildering thing when you change the clothes. You know, you just change the clothes. Because a person doesn't identify with the clothes. If you think, oh, I am this cloth, and I'm going to put this cloth in the washing machine, and the washing machine is going to mess it all up, um, then you will be bewildered. So, um, uh, Krishna is telling us, uh, and especially the youth, to be uh, a dear of Tantra and Muji, Tira, to be sober. Now is the time, if you can become sober during this age, you will be so sober for the rest of your life. Just like Maharaj was saying, that what uh, the youth do in this time of their life, Kumara, the age of Kumara, it has a very lasting impression for all of your life. If you get into sense gratification at that time, you probably do sense gratification for the most of your life. And uh, I, as I was saying in, in one of the uh, presentations I had before, um, there's a lot of God brothers I spoke to, and and um, there's a lot of God brothers that, that are the same age as uh, Shri Maharaj and myself, where they were around about 70, if you're in the age of 20, 21. And, and then a lot of these devotees that I spoke to, they said that the worst time in their life was between the age of 12 and 20. That's when they got into the most sense gratification and um, and drank the most amount of poison, as it were. So, um, so you're at this age, and this youth preaching that um, that Rani uh, uh, Rani Gopika and her husband. Are doing is very valuable preaching, and uh, we're very, very grateful for the for the 
time, energy, and effort that they are putting into it. They are actually saving you. This is a very wonderful uh, sacrifice that they're making to reach out to the youth and to help you to get through this period. You know, we, we, we want you to come through this period without being bewildered uh, so that you can move on to the next stage of your life, which may be, for most people, it is marriage, and then then it moves on to the stage of uh, Jahar, which is old age, and then there is disease, and then finally, there is the ultimate change of cloth. When we have to change this material body for either another body, material body, or for a spiritual body. And Srila Prabhupada is saying that if you follow the instructions that I've given you, it is my guarantee, Srila Prabhupada says, that after leaving this material body, you will get a spiritual body in Sri Goloka Vrindavan and not have to come back to this temporary material world which is just uh, uh, a, a, a place of uh, death, is a place of Jamna, Mitra, and Jara, and the other. So, um, the, uh, uh, the, as youth, uh, please don't get bewildered by sense gratification, don't get bewildered by Maya. Uh, if you do get bewildered by Maya, come to the temple and keep chanting, don't give up. Uh, so many devotees, they have problems, and uh, don't give up. And, and never stop chanting. Never give up on chanting. If, uh, it's not um, just like when a baby starts to walk, that the, the baby is going to fall over many times. But just because the baby falls over, it doesn't give up walking, trying to walk. And eventually it works, walks perfectly. So, um, eventually, we, have, we may be chanting offensively in the beginning, and then there's the clearing stage, and then there's the pure stage of chanting. So, but always chant. The worst mistake that we can make in life is to stop chanting. Don't stop chanting. Even if you chant unconsciously, it doesn't matter. But keep chanting. Uh, because as soon as we stop chanting in this type age of Kali Yuga, then the influence of, uh, the bewildering influence of Maya uh, will uh, bewilder us into sense gratification and then we will not be sufficiently trained at the time of death and we will not be have to take another uh, material body again. So um, thank you for listening and uh Shri Prabhupada in Jai. Thank you very much. It's really such a miracle for the work and enlightening message as always. Thank you for being here and inspiring as well. And uh, we would like to before I go next distinguished speaker I want to especially welcome uh, our distinguished guest as well from Bukit Barunto and Sungai Cho Bhagavad Gita Centers. So please give them a big honey We'll see who they are later on and I call them uh, up here to with the blessings. Without further ado, I'd like to invite our co regional secretary, His Grace Simishra Prabhu, to share a few words with us. Thank you, Prabhu. So, very nice to see all of you here together today on a rainy day uh, for this youth uh, gathering, a day where you are recognized. And I thank Radhe Govinda Mataji and Pastor Prime Minister Guru for organizing this and for His Holiness, Bhakti Vignavinas, Narasim Maharaj for attending this program, giving him so much importance. Also, it is this Ajahnil Prabhu. And uh, yeah, this is actually very important. Sometimes we oversee this. Uh, we may see the children or the youth. Uh, we may not give so much importance. Uh, but actually, in the growing stages, you learn so much. You learn a lot in your growing stages. As Maharaj said, Prabhupada Maharaj said, five 
at five years old. So you see there are so many youth movements in the world, a lot of youth movements, right? The Christians, the Muslims, the Hindus. But uh, what are the examples? Who are their youth examples? Nothing interesting in this meeting. But in our movement, we have youth examples like Prahlad Maharaj. What did Prahlad Maharaj do? I don't think any other movement youth leader can do as much as what Prahlad Maharaj did. He got thrown off from a cliff, was put in boiling oil, and he was always a youth. Uh, and he told his other friends, you also become a you also become like me, don't waste time. Dhruva Maharaj, same thing, very young. And they attracted the Supreme Lord himself to come to them. Dhruva Maharaj, Supreme Lord came. Prahlad Maharaj, the Supreme Lord came in a special form, which he was not scared, or everybody else was scared. That's the youth. So you've got an amazing example which no other movement youths can speak about. This is from the Srimad Padavatam, these examples are there. So you've got fantastic youth leaders in our movement. So you all also like Prahlad. Shantaracharya says, Bada Stava Prila Sattva, Tarni Stava Tarni Sattva, Chinta Stava Prila Sattva, Kalao Brahma Kopina Nantha. This when the child is very interested in playing with toys. Prahlad Maharaj told that to his friends. Don't play with toys, don't waste your time. It's time to ask who you are, what you should do. Balasthava, Tarunasthava, Tarunishantva. The young girl, young boy, that's another association, it goes to that stage. Chintasthava, Vindasakta. And in the uh, old age, the man is only interested in anxieties. Many times you will see when people grow old, they just, they need anxieties. Completely go into anxiety. Even if there's no anxiety, they like to get into some sort of anxiety. Hello, Brahmana, Kopina Shatta. But in the meantime, he says nobody is interested in the spirit, spirit, the spiritual life. So this was Sankaracharya's warning, and therefore, as youths in Hare Krishna movement, you are very lucky. You are very fortunate because you have a shining example, not just Prahlad Maharaj, not just Guru Maharaj. And then we have in our movement so many youth leaders, so many youth leaders. Srila Prabhupada, at a, at a, from a young age, he was a leader, though he came to Krishna consciousness later, 1922. He met Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur. But then he was always a leader in his own way, always thinking. And then he went to America, where everybody is in anxiety. It's a place where they keep liberation. America is known for the liberty, the statue of the liberty. He went right there, where they give liberation. Because he knows that's where there's so much anxiety. Everybody is anxiety, drug anxiety, sex anxiety, growing old anxiety. This rights, that's right, human's right, animal rights, right to march, free speech, so many things. Proper went there, and then there's so much of this anxiety, in the middle of the anxieties. So the government, they try to solve anxieties, people's anxieties. Why? Many methods, sometimes they give more drugs, so you don't have anxiety. Sometimes they give more alcohol. More Bob Mali said, legalize marijuana, you will be very happy. So you get all these different solutions. And Prabhupada went there, nobody expected this solution. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. It's just so simple, just chant and dance and all your anxiety is go away. So they were all youths who were attracted to Shilakov youths. Prabhupada was very old. So actually the youths get attracted to you. So Prabhupada was very young in that age. 77 he was also dancing. So Prabhupada showed that you are always a youth. 
and the other tiny example is the Supreme Personality of Krishna himself is a youth. You can see Krishna is always running around. So why would you need to go somewhere else when you got the youth as your Supreme Personality of Godhead as a youth? Never grows old. Right? The only thing we have to follow the Hare Krishna Mahamantra Mantra and take in association of the devotees, stay in the association, take as much Nasilama, <laughs> go out for some exciting events like camping, what we have organized. What else you do? Hmm? Football also, okay. You can allow that one. Prabhupada was a goalkeeper, we like them to be a goalkeeper. And then he said that. And uh, so like that, uh, uh, you do so many activities in Krishna Consciousness, they, you, you don't lose those things, you carry on with your activities and uh, be associated always be with the temple, like Daniel Prabhu said, if you have any problems, please come to this place. Your, your problem will be solved for sure, that's Ajahn Prabhu's guarantee. If not, you'll get a five thousand dollar check from me. <laughs> so I thank you very much. Please come and today we have a today we have a very good feast. We have a very, very good feast. And also I uh, I'm at the farm now. I've got youths from uh, Switzerland from France, from America, from uh, Africa and uh, Morocco. So they all there, they all very used, young, all young people, they come all the way to help to take care of cows. All and they are vegans. So they tell us, hey how come you're eating dairy? You shouldn't eat dairy. You shouldn't eat this. They are telling us these things. There are so many youths there and they are taking care of a uh, uh, house. One girl, she is a veterinary assistant. She is there for about 120 days. And she really uh, took care of cows which are 500 kilo weight cows doing operation and uh, stitching and things like that. So there is a big movement going on around the world for animal care. All are volunteers. They are all volunteers. They call them the water wayers, you know. So they come, they stay there, they are vegetarians and they help us out and things like that. So there is a big movement going on around the world, the vegans. Our dogs are also vegans. We give them full call, new balance, vegan dog food. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much for the and uh, just to let everybody know, we have a good um, 40 youth group here who are all from our congregation, children of devotees and also from outside. So all these 40, they attend classes regularly. They have weekly classes, so they actually attend the classes regularly. We have different speakers, different seminars. We are always thinking creative way of presenting Krishna consciousness to all of you. And, uh, you know, we must thank the parents, really. We must really thank the parents for always encouraging their children to attend these classes. It's designed to help them. It's designed to give them a very good, solid spiritual support, especially when they go out there. And in today's time, you, will, you know how bad it is out there. The stress level has increased. The pressure, the depression, everything has increased. So we, we hope to actually give you a solid foundation, solid support, not only in your Krishna consciousness, even in, in any other matter as well. You are always free to approach any one of us senior devotees here, uh, you know, myself or even uh, Rasa Prabhu, and we will help you as much as we can. This is our promise. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, uh, are you ready, John? Okay, let's watch. The last event we had was the Youth Sangha in Penang Todu. So let's watch this video now. Thank you.
Sorry about that. And of course, uh, uh, sorry, Chirajiva Prabhu is not here. We also like to call upon uh, Her Grace Tunda Vidya Mataji, Abhay's mom, or your dad, Adelia. She was a great support in the Krishna Chanmashtami drama, not here. Abhay, why don't you come and take one uh, to the presentation here? Thanks. Next, very importantly, we'd like to humbly call upon her, His Grace Rav Gopina Prabhu and Her Grace Sundari Gopi Mataji. Without whose support, none of this could have taken place as well. Mataji was cooking us, all of us, a wonderful feast next to the river, inside, right inside the jungle. That was a wonderful experience. Like to specially mention, if you are here, please do come forward. His Grace Rupa Raghunath Prabhu, His Grace Mahayogi Chintina Prabhu and family, His Grace Muni Krishna family, His Grace Ekadeva Prabhu. Yeah. His Grace Patita Pavana Chintina Prabhu could not be here with us because he's attending uh, some other event. Uh, very importantly, I would like to call upon His Grace uh, Gora Keshava Das Prabhu. Not only he takes the of his own children, six of them, am I right? <laughs> but he also took care of all of us during the swimming, especially. Uh, he, he was just there, lifeguard, guarding all of you. Okay. I would like to also call upon Bhakta Vinayagar Prabhu to come forward. Thank you very much Prabhu for your big help as well. Two of the teachers could not be here with us because they are in, uh, in Dubai. Uh, His Grace uh, Madhu Moe Krishna Prabhu and Her Grace Asusati Bhakti Devi Mataji, they could not be here. I would like to also call upon parents who also became great support in the youth development, youth activities, where any activity we do, they are always there for us. I'd like to call upon uh, Bhakta Seduram Prabhu and Bhakti Sudhita Mataji, Bhakti Rekha, Bhakta Damodaran, I guess he's not here. Thank you very much Prabhu Mataji. Next slide, please. The youth, all of you will receive a certificate right after this. We also had, in this year-end award and appreciation night, we also like to um, cherish and value and really appreciate, uh, you know, the invaluable services uh, some of the devotees have done for the schools, preaching, events, schools, the Modara program, uh, without whose support, definitely we could not have gone big, we could not have done all of this. So I'd like to humbly call upon the school preaching teams, school preachers. Um, Gokul Damodar Prabhu is of course one of the speakers. His Grace Armanam Prabhu could not be here. Is His Grace Nagarapati Prabhu here? Nagarapati Prabhu will also appear in many other preaching activities. But please come forward for now Prabhu. Both he and his wife, they really support uh, the Bukit Burunto and Shumanto Bhagavad classes. His Grace Atma Nivedena Prabhu is not here. His Grace Nalakishwara Prabhu is also not here. His Grace Kamalaka Prabhu, I mean, thank you. And His Grace Mathura Pati Prabhu. They are conducting Bhagavad Gita classes in, uh, in uh, Narvi Sambila, Suapeto. It's a, it's a big, big class, 30 minutes. To go and speak about Bhagavad Gita in about 20 to 30 minutes is not an easy job. So thank you very much, Prabhu. Her Grace Vandita Mataji, are you here? Okay, Mataji is not here. Next, for the school's Dhamodar program. For the school's Dhamodar program, 470 packets of prasadam and 2,320 full meal prasadam.
Sandal Urges to Live this year. Total lengths stands at 29,274. We conducted Damodar program in 13 schools in Klang Valley. More than 3,000 students and their families benefited. So we'd like to humbly call, mention all these names, those who are involved, and those who have not received your token of appreciation, please do come forward. His Grace Gokul Damodar Prabhu, His Grace Ram Gopinath Prabhu, Armaram Prabhu, His Grace Eke Deva Prabhu. Very, very important, very special soul. His Grace Mukunda Mahaprabhu Das Prabhu. Please come forward. Prabhu. Prabhu was there every day, every single day. He was earlier than us, cutting vegetables, basically pretty much doing everything. Thank you very much, Prabhu. Very Seva Prayana Prabhu. Are you here, Prabhu? Since my Prabhu's working schedule, he's in Mindy to help us, to help the temple. He's great. Uh, Nanda Nandana Prabhu. Nanda Nandana Prabhu. His great Nanda Kirana Prabhu. His great Gora Chandra Prabhu. His great Nara Hari Prabhu. Bhaktin Tamil Selvi. Bhaktin Usha. Bhaktin Rajis. Bhaktin Khatini. Now, we had a whole missionary going. We had a team who rolled the lamps, not stop. Then we had a cooking team. Then we had a team that went to school. So we have some of the wonderful Matajis here who actually rolled the lamps. And gave it for the school preaching. Her Grace, sorry, Bhakti Sudha, Bhakti Pungade, Bhakti Subhanitya, Bhakti Gandhimadi, Bhakti Kirtika, Bhakti Masigi, and Bhakti Reka. Reka Mataji. I'd like to call upon Bhaktin Tasha. Is she here? Okay, Bhaktin Tasha, she's always behind the scenes. A member of her youth. Now she's no more youth. She just got engaged. <laughs> yes, but her services are so invaluable. She's the person behind the wonderful designs of posters. She's actually from uh, Ipo, right? People, yes. So she's very, very creative and she did all the newsletters and posters. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm just checking and seeing that we've not missed out anyone. Next slide, please. Okay, there are some photos that you can see there from preaching. Just quickly, just go quickly. Okay, next slide. That's the river crossing that we did. Wonderful spot to camp. Next slide, please. Okay, next slide. Next. Next slide. Schools preaching. Okay, prison. For the prison preaching, we have a team. His Grace Ram Gopinath Prabhu. His Grace Narayan Pati Prabhu also supports us in this preaching activity. Next. Okay. We have taken Bhagavad Gita. We have wonderful souls out there who believe in Bhagavad Gita and they want these Bhagavad Gita classes. And that's how I came to know uh, Madam Subhatira, Madam Valarmati. Are you all here? Yes. They are the backbone. They love Bhagavad Gita so much that they approached us and wanted to have weekly Bhagavad Gita classes at Bukit Baruntong Community Centre, which caters for the P40 community, Indian community in that area. So we are really thank both of you very much. We are very grateful that you want to continue this service. So please come forward and accept your token of appreciation. As I mentioned earlier, His Grace Nagana Pati Prabhu is one of the uh, main speakers. And I'd like to also call upon uh, Her Grace Hema Champakalaka Mataji. Not only she's the principal of Goku Garden here, but the children over there love her classes. Thank you very much, Mataji. And through Madam Subhatira, we also, Madam 
Subhadra student. <laughs> Where is he? Shankara, Mr. Shankara and Miss Dilaga. Thank you so much. They are doing wonderful service at Sumat Show for the community over there. Not only they run tuition classes on all subjects, uh, other arts and uh, skills, but they also run, they also want to have this Bhagavad Gita classes there on a daily basis. Thank you so much, Mr. Shankara. And uh, Ms. Tilaga Mataji, please come forward. Thank you. It's a big sacrifice by them. And what's really wonderful is that they are unbroken faith in Bhagavad Gita. Thank you so much. Now is the time for the certificates. Please come forward quickly, receive your certificate and blessings from all the distinguished guests here. Okay, so this is a year-end award. Now, we have gold, we have silver, we have bronze. But it doesn't mean anything. It's just to encourage you. Those who regularly attend week by week, a lot of you, a good 20 of you attend on a weekly basis. Some of you will attend one time and then you go on a break, but you do come for the activities. And some of you, even though you may not be able to attend the classes, but you're still in touch with us, still in touch with the youth activities. We thank you all so much. Please keep this momentum in the coming year as well. So when I call out your name, please come forward. Sonia, Bhakti Sonia, you can connect your t-shirt as well. All the ladies, girls will get L and all the boys will get XL. There's no other sizes. But don't worry, it will fit your body. Yeah, Sonia, can you come quickly please, dear? Okay, then we have Visaka, Visaka Rajasila. Kumarave, Aditya, Hari Krishna, Madesh. If you all don't receive a certificate, certificates immediately just raise your hands up, okay? I'm afraid I might have missed some of you. Bhatin Srisha Bhatin Tejasvini Bhatin Tejasvini Nair Bhatin Sachi Devi Shah Sundar is not here It's not here just Bhatta Yudhish Tire Bhatin Tachyani Bhatta Sanjeev Kumar Bhakti Prisha Are you here? Okay, not there Suhash, are you here? Okay, not here Bhakti Bhakti Shakti Bhakti Shakti Bhakta Prala I'll read the names in full. Shesha Smaran Parameshwaran. Abhay Charan. Where are you? Most exciting uh, youth boy in our class. We thought him the class is very quiet. So I always ask him to come every week. Okay. Bhakta John Paul Gasper. Just in two days. Okay. Uh, Rumeshna. <laughs> Gandharika. Yes, I will go. Come back here. Rumeshna. Come back here. Need you here. Bhakta Janathan. Bhakti Divi 
बीना बता बेंदन मेरे यो बंदे को यार नहीं होती सुनती रहे बता बी सुनती रहे बता किशो दबीना इस नाट किया बागवान गीत है
So with this, that's not good. Hey Krishna. So you are here for year 2023. So all of you, thank you for coming today. This was a wonderful event, especially we are very fortunate. This event was <laughs> Singing Shara Prabhu said we made Kicheri for all of you. So we are ready for Kicheri. Kicheri with Papadam. We have to thank the uh, cooks from Ann. John and Rao Gopinath Prabhu and his good boy and all the clan you are is will be supported today. So thank you very much, Pram. Let us take a start.